Well, I just got done watching O'Shea's uh, video. And he talked about how um, he doesn't date interrelate. He doesn't date or do the interracial dating thing, which I can commend him for. Because I understand that he wants to do to intellectual lifting of healing the black community. I mean, I get it. I understand where he's coming from. And you really want to do that to the point. But nine times out of ten, when you try to do the intellectual lifting, nine times out of ten, that these black women will do everything in their power to stop you. I'll give you a prime example. Look at the Detroit 300 Club. They were trying so hard to find out who murdered that kid and stuff like that. And I don't live too far from the city. And guess who stopped that whole thing? Your nigga bitch. That's right, your nigga bitch. And even if she's uh, college educated, she's a nigga bitch either way. And even these so-called sisters that like to sit up here and claim that they are submissive and stuff, let me break it down and tell you. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're a black couple married or not. <clears throat> I'm going to look at you guys like I don't take you very seriously. And I really don't. I don't take any black person seriously. Because you really can't. They're too busy being selfish, narcissistic as hell. And nine times out of ten, it's going to wind up being to the point where you don't want to deal with them, period. I mean, I don't even take Michelle Obama seriously. I really don't. Even Barack Obama, which 99% of you Negroes will sit there and vote Democrat, which I don't understand why the hell you vote Democrat, even in your cities, because we already know that the majority of you Negroes will sit there and vote 99% Democrat. I don't understand that. If your Bible's telling you one thing and you're doing another thing, then I just look at you like y'all are nothing more than a bunch of center ass Negroes. But yeah, we know why you keep the churches afloat. Because women attend those churches, not black men. I'll also tell you a story at one time that uh I remember a story that my mom used to attend church back in the days. And she was with her parents, and my grand and my and my grandfather suspected that this buck dancing bull jangling pastor was trying to hit on my grandmother. Now I was this is before I was even born. So, him and the so my grandfather and the pastor had words, and ever since then they stopped going. Now I see why my grandfather stopped that shit for a reason. Cause my grandfather was like, uh uh, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna you ain't gonna pull this nonsense on my on my wife, uh uh. And I commend my grandfather for that. And like I said, this is before I was born, and there was another situation where it involved this uh this black woman. You know, about my complexion, light skin, about this skin color. Anyway, man, one day she came into the store and she was asking for a home pregnancy test and saying and claiming that it was for her, uh, her friend, but <laughs> really it was for her. So one day I usually, I usually like to look at women's rides and see what you're dealing with. Now this woman had a baby seat and had a, a kid in the car sleeping. You know what that means. That means this woman has been having unprotected sex. And I'll say this. The majority of these North American black women have had unprotected sex. They have mastered the so-called birth control. And mastered the condom use. So don't be fooled by the fact that these women. These women. Um don't like sex because they really do. They just want to pass that off and, and say the man's irresponsible. But in reality, 
You women have been proving how reckless you are. You've proven how erratic you are. And the majority of you women are just a laughing stock. So I say this. The majority of you women can go out there and swirl all you want. Y'all could be concubines to these non-black men all you want. you just only making yourself look stupid. And to you Negroes out there that won't challenge these women, hey, this is why the black community is dead. And this is why it's going to be remaining dead for a long time. It's going to take maybe even thousands of years to even restore that black community. It ain't going to restore itself anytime soon. That's like trying to save a house that has been infested by roaches. Or trying to save a teeth that has been infected by germs. You have to scrap it and start over again. And that's just reality. And like I said before. You know, and this, and that's just what it comes down to. And all you black women, hey, keep on swirling. Oh, and another thing, and Tito said this. I dare you guys to go out to these mixed clubs. You're going to see black women there. And notice how they'll talk to the the white men and the non-white men and ignore your ass. I'm telling you. This is why the black community is destroyed. And once again, I'm not saying this out of anger, but I'm just telling you the truth. So with that and the truth and evidence speak for itself and with that i'll say this is carl mitchell signing off